Okay guys, this is about the ASUS ZenBook Pro UX550 VD uh, 7700. Um, it has Windows 10, you can see the specs there, GTX 1050, 16 gigs. Connectivity is fantastic on this computer. Um, as you can see, it has USB and HDMI. Um, speaker system is great, four speakers. And I'm here to talk to you especially about the keyboard. Okay, you might have some trouble. Now, here we go. Hi guys, this is just a little tip for people who have the ASUS UX550VD7700 or anything that's similar. Um, I had this thing that happened with it uh, when I first bought it um, and it drove me nuts and I thought um, I'd have to take it back or something. It was uh, trying to press the letter P here on the, on the keyboard, it was giving me the asterisk. And um, after asking a friend, um, he, he asked me if, uh, if I could check whether or not the um, numlock key was turned on because he said that might be the reason. And it makes sense because sometimes uh, laptop keyboards make this area here the, the numlock, um, sorry, the number pad. Um, but as you can see on this keyboard, there are no numbers. On my previous uh, laptop, I actually had numbers here um, so that it would show me. Um, what numbers, what letters would push what numbers if I were to change it to uh, numlock on. Now the thing is with this keyboard you'll notice that there is no numlock key. Okay, so I had to actually manually go into the soft, um, soft keyboard within Windows um, to find the num, numlock on, numlock off button and once I unlocked it, the P started working normally again. Okay. Very, very, very annoying fault um, because my password, my login password, had a P in there. Okay. <laughs> you can imagine my frustration and anxiety when I couldn't log into my computer. Um, just resetting the computer, restarting it, um, fixed it. But it was like every time I was using a wireless keyboard. So every time I was switching between this and this, because I used the numpad on, on this, so what would happen is I'd press numlock on this keyboard to use the um, to use the number pad. And then when I'd come back, like if you forget to turn off numlock on this thing before you switch back to this one, then you're stuck. Right? So I'm here to tell you a, a fix, um, which I'm surprised why. Um, ASUS hasn't printed this on their keyboard, but I randomly started pushing uh, the function button along with some of these buttons up here because I know from my previous experiences with keyboards that usually it's these top buttons that have uh, function buttons assigned to them. And um, like you'll notice, the, you know, the increasing, decreasing brightness and all that sort of stuff. So there should be one that says numpad here. Now I'm going to tell you which one it is. It's this insert. Okay, see the insert key right there? Insert. If you press FN and insert, you'll uh, get the message on the screen. Let me see. I just, geez, my fingers aren't that long. I can't reach it. Um, you might have to take my word for it because really I can't reach it. <laughs> um, let's see. So, function and insert. Can you see that on the screen? Oh, here we go. Okay, I can reach it now. Two hands. Numlock on, numlock off. It's in Japanese, of course. Numlock off, numlock on. Okay, um, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the function key and the insert key. Okay, try that on your um, ASUS and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, try um, one of the other keys around this area and hopefully it works for you. Otherwise, this computer is a fantastic computer. It's uh, got an i7, um, it's got 16 gigs of RAM, it's got um, a 512 gig SSD, um, it's got a 2 gig uh, GeForce, I think it's a 1050, um, GTX 1050 I believe it is. And it's been performing really well. It's got USB ports, yes. Um, I was actually going to buy a MacBook, but the reason why I didn't get a MacBook was because it didn't have USB ports or an HDMI port. This has both. As you can see, my HDMI um, is plugged in at the moment. 
And um, it has two USB ports. It has a micro USB port, which is better than nothing. And the speakers are fantastic. It's a quad speaker system. You got one on each side here, and underneath as well. Bass is really good on the on the speaker system. Better than I expected, anyway. Anyway, that's all from me. Take it easy, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, if you're interested in learning Japanese, by any chance, uh, please subscribe. That's the main thing that I do on this channel. But um, otherwise, have a good day. See you guys. Bye.